Hey everyone, John Reed here, author of 50 Things to See with a Telescope and 50 Things to See on the Moon. Welcome to the Homeschool Astronomy Challenge series. In this bonus challenge, we're going to determine who can see the youngest moon. This is Learn to Stargaze. If you're like me, two years ago, you had no idea there was something called a young moon, but I'll let you in on a little secret. There's a friendly competition in the amateur astronomy community for bragging rights as to who has seen the youngest moon. You may know about the new moon, when the moon is closest to the sun in our sky and it's not visible at all during the night. And about every year and a half or so, somewhere on Earth, the new moon casts a shadow upon the Earth, resulting in a solar eclipse. But a day after the new moon, when the moon has moved away from the sun and is visible just after sunset, when the moon is just a sliver, we call this a thin crescent, or the young moon. During this time, barely any craters are illuminated. However, you may see what is known as Earthshine, where the whole face of the moon is illuminated ever so slightly by sunlight reflected off the Earth. Sometimes you'll spot the young moon near planets like Venus or Mercury, but in March of 2013, I spotted the young moon next to a comet, and that was pretty cool too. If you're using 50 things to see on the moon, this target is found at page 19. You can record your observation for this bonus target on top of page 49 of the 50 things to see with the telescope activity work. In order to observe a young moon, first you need to know the time of the next new moon. Alexa, when's the next new moon? The next new moon will be tomorrow evening at 7.42 p.m. Your best attempt at viewing the youngest moon is on the evening of the following day. So how do you observe it? You go out around sunset to a place with a clear and cloudless view of the west. The young moon will appear in the sky to the west just after sunset. Because the moon is already low on the horizon and setting, you may only have a few minutes or even seconds to see this event. Sometimes it helps to use astronomy software on your phone like Stellarium so you know exactly where to look because if you're not looking right at it, you might miss it. Also using Stellarium, you can check how old the moon actually is. So I hope you enjoyed the Young Moon Challenge. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And remember, the future is looking up.